Hi, my name is Jochen Christine, and today I'm going to show you how to configure SearchGuard Flex, the security and alerting solution for Elasticsearch and Kibana. As a prerequisite, I already downloaded Elasticsearch, I downloaded Kibana, I downloaded the SearchGuard TLS tool, which we will use to generate the required TLS certificates, and I've downloaded the SGCTL, SG Control tool, which replaces the older and outdated SG Admin tool. I also installed the SearchGuard Flex plugin, as you can see in the plugins directory. However, I didn't configure anything at the moment. So if you have a look at the Elasticsearch YAML file, the only thing that I changed is the cluster name, which I set to demo. So as a first step, we need TLS certificates. We need TLS certificates for encrypting internode communication. We need TLS certificates for encrypting traffic on the REST API. And we also need one admin certificate, which we will then later use with SearchGuard CTL to change the security configuration. For that, I'm going to use the free SearchGuard TLS tool. The SearchGuard TLS tool can generate certificates and it can also generate configuration snippets, which you can then just copy and paste to your Elasticsearch YAML file. The SearchGuard TLS tool is based on uh, YAML style configuration files. So let's have a look at our current configuration. This is how it looks like. In the first section, you can see I can configure a couple of defaults, which will then apply to all the generated certificates. So I set the validity in days. Um, I choose to auto generate a password for my private key file. I can define the password length. Um, I also want to use um, HTTPS. So I set HTTPS enabled to true. And for the sake of this demo, we're going to use the same TLS certificates for both the transport layer and the rest layer. But of course, in production, you can also choose to use different certificates for both layers. The first certificate that we will generate will be our root CA, where we specify the distinguished name. And here you can see that I can also override the defaults. So for the root CA, I've chosen not to set any private key password. So I set it to none. And the file name will be root CA.pem. In the notes section, I'm generating exactly one node certificate. Again, I'm specifying the distinguished name. And for the sake of this demo, I'm choosing to auto let TLS tool auto generate a password for this certificate. And I'm adding the host name and the IP as well. And the last section, I'm generating a client certificate. And by setting admin to true, TLS tool will automatically generate the respective configuration key, which I can later use in my Elasticsearch YAML file. So now let's go to the SearchGuard TLS tool directory and CD into the tools directory. And now let's generate the certificates. The minus C parameter specifies the location of the config file the TLS tool uh, should use to generate the certificates. The minus CA option tells TLS tool to generate the root CA and the minus CAT option tells the TLS tool to also generate all the other certificates in one go. So let's give it a try. And as you can see, the root certificate has been generated and we have generated one node certificate and one client certificate as expected. If we go to the tools directory, you can see that we now have a newly created folder called out where all the certificates are located. So for Elasticsearch, I'm going to need my root CA. I just need the root CA uh, certificate. I don't need the key. And for the node certificate, I need the key, uh, the PAM certificate and the key. So I'm just copying this to the config directory of Elasticsearch. Next, let's have a look at our configuration snippet that has been generated by the tool as well. So here you can see all the settings necessary for enabling transport and rest layer TLS. You can see that this is our auto-generated password. 
You can also see that for this demo, <clears throat> we're using the same certificate for the transport layer and the HTTP layer. You can see that we specify the valid nodes certificate and we also specify our admin certificate by just stating the distinguished name here. So let's copy this snippet here as well. And let's add it to the Elasticsearch YAML file. So I'm just pasting it at the very bottom and save it. Okay, now let's try out our configuration. First of all, I'm CDing into the Elasticsearch directory and try to start Elasticsearch as normal. And as you can see, um, we're hitting an uh, illegal argument exception here, telling us that we already have added a plugin XPEC security. Um, and the reason for this is that you can't run XPEC security and search guard security at the same time. So the only thing that we're going to do or that we need to do is just to go back to our Elasticsearch YAML file and just disable XPEC security to set it the enabled flag to false. Save it. And let's try again. And you can see this time everything works. Everything is set up uh, correctly. And we have our Elasticsearch running on localhost with search card security enabled. Thanks very much for your attention. In the next video in this series, we're going to have a look how to configure your security settings and how to add users using the search card control command line tool. Thanks very much and see you then. Bye bye.